Okay, I promised you in the last lesson we would add our alternate units to the dimensions, and I cut it a bit short, so we'll do it in this lesson. Uh, we can do it from any view. Let's zoom into a dimension over here. Okay, this is like any other Revit family. You can click on here, and there's different types. So I'm going to click on this type and say, okay, edit the type. I'm going to go in here and scroll down, and it's going to say units are a default, meaning it's using project units, which is fine. Um, alternate units, I'm going to click on here and say, well, I'm not going to use millimeters. I'm going to use, uh, as an alternate unit, feet and fraction of inches to the half inch, sure. Suppress zero feet, so if it's only inches, it won't say zero feet. Hit OK. And where do I want it placed? I want it placed below. Good. Now, do I need a prefix or a suffix? Nah, I don't need that. I click on here, it does that. Now, personally, I like my dimensions a little tighter to my dimension line. So let's click on here and let's go back into edit type and let's go to the text and let's go text offset. I'm just going to make this like point one of a millimeter, which is like really tiny, but um, it, it basically will tighten it up like that. Oh, a little bit too much. Let's go back in, hit edit type again. And let's go with 0.3. Now yeah, that's good. You know what else I do? I usually uh, take my text and add a width factor, make it skinnier, 0.7. Watch. Boom. Gives me a little bit more room, you know, when dimensions get tight. So now you can see four meters is, you know, about 14 feet. Pretty close. Or, sorry, one and a half, 13 feet, not 11. Okay. Now, because this is a dimension type, guess what? When I go over here, these are going to do the same thing because it's the same dimension type. So there you can get a kind of a feel for, you know, the size of uh, the building. Okay. And let's add some more dimensions. Uh, let's add an overall dimension from here to here and then place it. Dimension from here to here. Scroll up, place it. Okay, so the total building is about 230 feet by 65 and a half feet. Okay, or metric, nice round numbers, 20 meters. Okay. Now, speaking of units, if we go to manage, we go to project units, uh, which is right here. Okay, my um, uh, ribbon is condensed because of my resolution. But inside of here, you can see the length by default is millimeters. This is the project units. Okay, you want to change it here and use only imperial, then change it to be imperial and, it, and you don't need the alternate units at all. Okay, so this is where the default primary units are, and then the dimension itself can have an alternate unit shown just like this, or you can make your primary units imperial and skip the alternate altogether. Okay, so uh, let's do a save as project, and we'll call this lesson six for our next lesson. Okay. We're done here. So we've just uh, added uh, some alternate units and checked our project units in this lesson.